So as you can see, Creatures of Scenario has recently updated and they added in two new creatures into the Traveler's Gacha, along with four new earnable titles. And from the looks of it, they have added in the Gyrodus and Sorodon back into the limited gacha. So that is really, really cool and really, really good for those who didn't get them way, way back. And now you can actually get them. So um, yeah, we're going to be checking out all of the new stuff that they have added into the game. So um, yeah, let's get started. So first things first, we're going to be checking out the two new creatures they have added in and I'll be showing you guys how to get them. So um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's click on buy creatures and they go all the way to the traveler's gotcha and here it is and like most people as you can see it is locked because i do not have any traveler gotcha tokens to actually unlock it so um yeah uh that sucks but um if you guys were curious on how to unlock the traveler's gotcha well it's quite simple uh not really but uh yeah so you got to complete all these tasks right here and then you buy it for 250 mushrooms and then you have a chance to get one of these and then you just do that over and over again to complete all these tasks again get a token open it and yeah you just repeat the same thing over and over again or you can be like me and trade for the new creatures and yes i already have them so um, yeah guys uh, that is how you get these new creatures and also if we go to the limited shop i believe the limited gacha here it is guys the guy rotus and the Sorodon are finally back in here and um yeah guys the guy rotus it is probably one of my favorite creatures in this game so um yeah guys you guys can open this gacha for 2,500 mushrooms. And um, yeah, the guy Rotus is here now in the sword on, and they're gonna be here for a while. So be sure to get them while you can. And yeah, that is pretty much it. And now let's go and showcase these new creatures. All right, guys, here it is, the Naka Mosca and the Avotheus, the two new creatures, and we're going to be showcasing them. And if you guys just, like, can't get any Traveler Gacha tokens and really want to use them, you can always go to your mushrooms up here and go to creatures and you scroll all the way down until you find the Naka Mosca and the Avotheus. And, you know, basically every single creature is inside of here for you to test out. And, uh, yeah, you just got to buy it for mushrooms and then you get a stored version. And, um, yeah, guys, like, you know, like I always say, if you guys buy a stored one and you die as it, then you have to revive it or delete it. So um, yeah, guys, you can buy the Nakamaska and the Avotheus both here for 937 shrooms. And when you actually get it from the store shop, it's already grown to adult for you guys. So um, yeah, if you guys didn't know that, well, now you know. So um, yeah, uh, let's get onto the showcase. Okay, so first things first, so we're gonna be checking out the Nakamaska stats. Okay, so as you can see, it has 3,500 HP, it does 300 damage, it has the weight of 4,000, it takes 40 minutes to grow, and it's a tier four. That is actually not that bad for a tier four. Now let's read its creature abilities. Okay, so bleed defense of 20%. It does 1.5 bleed per bite and it does 1.5 toxin per bite. Okay, that is actually really, really good. And it has iron stomach. Okay, so I really like the toxin and the bleed since, you know, uh, that stacks up over time and can easily kill like a lot of like tanky stuff. So this creature is not that bad at all. Okay, so now let's read the description for the Naka Mosca. All right, guys. Okay, so Naka Mosca are nocturnal creatures that prefer solo living to traveling in packs. They emerge mainly at night to hunt and are rarely seen in groups. The only time this occurs is when they are caring for young, which fledge at a young age and depart on their own journey. Their behavior most resembles an owl or vulture. They hunt silently and hover over their victims before making a killing blow with their long talons. Oh, that is pretty sick. All right, let's spawn in and check this boy out. All right, guys, as you can see, we have spawned in as the Naka Mosca and take a good look at it, guys. So it's like a vulture dragon type creature which is really, really cool. And take a good look at it, guys. Look at that. That is actually insane. Wait, does it have three eyes? Oh, it does. Maybe. Um, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an eye. Oh, yeah, guys. If you guys didn't know, this creature right here was originally going to be the Ghibli redesign. And a uh, good thing they did not make it a redesign because, you know, um, I, I literally see, like, no resemblance in this creature and the Ghibli. And, uh, you know, this creature, you know, it literally deserves to be its own creature and like it is now, which makes a lot of sense because look at it. It's just amazing. And yeah, guys, if you guys didn't know, this was going to be the uh, Ghibli redesign. But good thing they canceled that and just made its own creature. All right. So now let's check out its animations. And right here, this is the running animation. Take a good look at that. And I don't know if it's just me, but like this creature runs out of stamina so much faster than like any other creature. Like I, I've been sprinting for like what, like five seconds and like half of my stamina is gone in like five seconds, which is absolutely insane. But um, yeah, let's check out the drinking animation. There we go. 
And uh, now let's check out the flying animation. This one's actually going to be dope, I'm pretty sure. All right, here we go. Let's fly. Oh, look at that. Oh, we need to glide now because we're out of stamina. All right, uh, let me fill up my stamina bar and then we'll check it out. Okay, my stamina bar is full. All right, let's fly now. Holy, look at this, guys. That is insane. The animations are very, very well done. And just like that, all my stamina is now gone. Holy, okay, this thing loses stamina actually like so quickly. All right, so now let's land and check out its other animations. Okay, so this is the aggro animation right here. You gotta press on Z to do this. Look at that, that is sick. And then let's do the X animation. There we go. And then the N animation. Look at that. And then the city animation then the sleepy animation and there we go those are all of the animations so this creature does not have any abilities at all besides iron stomach meaning uh you can eat rotten food with this creature and um yeah that is pretty much all it can do and also when you bite people you deal 1.5 poison and 1.5 bleed which is really good already so yeah guys it doesn't have a q ability or a c ability or you know a breath and um yeah guys that is pretty much it for this creature be sure to tell me down in the comments what are your thoughts on the naka mosca and now let's move on to the next creature here it is the avotheus and as you can see this boy is an absolute tank Okay, so let's check out stats. As you can see, it has 8,000 HP, 260 damage. It has the weight of 15,000. And as you can see, it takes 60 minutes to grow. And uh, yeah, it is a tier 4. And for tier 4, that is just insane. Like 8,000 HP. And it does 260 damage. And it weighs 15,000. That is insane. Okay, so let's check out its creature abilities. Okay, so it has the bleed defense of 40%. It does 2 bleed per bite. It has a 30% chance to actually ligament tear while attacking other opponents. And it has a 5% chance to bone break while attacking. And it does... Wait, what is this? Bleed reflect 2%. Guys, I don't know if it's just me, but like, I think this is a new ability. Bleed reflect. I'm pretty sure this is the only creature that has bleed reflect. But correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And um, yeah, uh, bleed reflect. I'm pretty sure like anybody that attacks you, you have like a 2% chance to like bleed reflect or like you reflect back 2% of their bleed. I don't know, but that's actually really, really useful. And like this creature is already like so insane with like it's 8,000 HP and damage. Yeah, uh, that is insane. Okay, so now let's read the description. Avotheuses are a slower kind of creature and travel in a small group with up to four to five members within colder regions. Their heavy fur and armor coated knuckles help them with their cold weathered bodies. They tend to leave traces in their surrounding by scratching leaves with their claws. Males are found to be more attractive with bigger ice sheets along their back. Okay, that is pretty cool. All right, now let's get out to the showcase. All right, guys, here we are. And I don't know if it's just me, but why is it so tiny? I thought it was going to be like a walking, like like at least the size of a grimace. But it's actually really, really small. Or is it just me? Um, I don't know, guys. Uh, I, I don't know. It, it looks really small to me. I'm pretty small. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, I lied. Uh, it's, it's because we didn't grow yet. Okay, so now we actually grew. Okay, this makes a lot more sense because I was really curious. I was like, why is it so tiny? And I saw that, you know, um, yeah, I, I guess I just wasn't fully grown. Okay, so now that we are fully grown, look at us now. We are a lot bigger. And honestly, um, I mean, it's still kind of small but it's okay you know it's average right it's average all right so let's check out its animations okay so this is the walking animation right here and then this is the running animation and then here is the flying no i'm just kidding this thing cannot fly that would actually be insane though if this creature could fly too but you guys really thought this thing could fly huh no this thing cannot fly well good thing it can't because if it could that would suck okay so now let's do the z animation right here oh look at this oh that is sick look at that I like that. That is sick. All right, let's do the X animation now. There we go. And then the N animation. Look at this. It's like a beast. This thing is actually a beast. Okay, let's do the sitting animation. And then the sleepy animation. 
And there we go. Those are all of the animations. And now let's talk about its abilities. Okay, so this creature actually has an ability. Okay, so if you press on Q, you actually have the immune to bad elements. So pretty much what that means is, uh, you know, you're immune to everything once you click on this button. So yeah, uh, if you have like bleed, burn, poison, uh, anything, like literally anything in general, you just press on Q and it removes it all, which is absolutely insane, like knowing that this creature already has all of those stat buffs and abilities and it's already like so tanky and like does a lot of damage and it has this ability. That is just insane, guys. And the bad elements only take 60 seconds to like cool down and then you can use it again. So you can pretty much never be bled. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's crazy. Oh yeah, um, they have also added in more titles. So if you're like a title collector, or you like, you know, you just like unlocking new titles, click on this, and uh, you know, click on this T right here. And these are all the titles. And as you can see, I barely have like any of the titles. I I, I have most of the event ones, except the better player and top supporter. But um, yeah, I barely have any of these ones. The stat, the stat ones. Or the other what is other deep danger die to shark attacks um i think i've died to many shark attacks i don't know why i don't have it but um yeah guys uh if you guys like collecting titles there are some new titles and the only titles i have are own 200,000 mushrooms at once and uh wealthy own 300,000 or uh 30,000 mushrooms at once well um those are the only titles i have which is uh kind of sad but um yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video hope you guys did enjoy and um yeah guys be sure to tell me down in the comments what you think about these two new creatures and yeah i'll see you all in the next video peace out